Hello everyone, my name is Ozilus Host, and welcome to a little video showcasing this new this new game, um, Quantum Rush. It is an closed beta at the moment, and I have been invited to take part in it, and I'm very glad about that too. This is a futuristic racing game, where you race little space spaceships, I believe, maybe, you can call that, I don't know. Well, it's, an, it's futuristic racing, and I love futuristic racing games. Uh, I, you probably well, wouldn't know that from me, but I'm a big, huge fan of racing games as well. And on the PlayStation 1, I had a very old futuristic racing game. I have no idea what it's called now, but I don't even know how, how many hours I've spent playing that game. That game was amazingly fun, too bad it broke, but hey, I was like 6. No. I don't know. Four. That, that, that's not important in this video. Anyway, I, I'm gonna talk about this game a little bit. This is gonna be, I believe this is gonna be three faces in this video. I think three or four. I don't know if I'm gonna have commentary over all of them or not. I'm not. I have no idea what's in the background right now. I know. It, I know it's gameplay from the game. This game is really fun. It it actually runs really good too. Uh, to, this was the first time me playing it while recording. And I got no frame rate drops, which is amazing. I don't know what the frame rates are for this game and, and defaults, but they're good. It's, if it's not 120, it's probably like, it's, my guess is like 100 and something. It doesn't feel like 60. It's too fast to be 60. But um, this game is, is stupidly fun. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm only playing single player, the practice mode, because no one was online to play online because it's in closed beta. It's not pub public yet, so it's really hard to get into a lobby. But you get weapons, it's kind of, it's kind of like Mario Kart, in, it's in the sense because you pick up weapons and you can use them to blow up your opponents. In this case, real life people, because there is no bot play, anything like that. And you can, at, by default, you can choose from three different spaceships, they're called. Uh, are they spaceships or are they like, I don't know what they're, they're considered, I'm going to call them spaceships, I don't know. You get, you get, by default, you get to choose from three of them and I'm going to show all three of them in the video. And two tracks is canyon coastal and um, airports I'm gonna be sewing canyon and coastal because those maps are amazingly fun airports I don't I'm just airport is a, in my in my opinion this is hard to follow I don't really like airport coastal for my first time playing it was difficult as well but I got the hang of it airport I guess uh, every time I race it I always just I have no idea where I'm going and I run into a wall I'm not even trying to turn, I'm no, no, no idea where to go. And also in this game, even though it's in closed beta, there are a lot of things. I mean, you can you can totally customize everything. I mean, it's cool. You can change the color of your spaceship. You can, you can upgrade the engines, the boosters, uh, I guess the weapons. I mean, everything about it. And it's only in closed beta. I mean, imagine what things going to be if, if, it, if they do get done with it and publicly release it. I hope this game does not turn into a Cube World thing. I mean, Cube World had so much going for it. I mean, it's still an alpha. They, the developers just said, oh, screw Cube World. They, they've said they're going to come back and, and start making it again, but they have not done anything. I hope the developers of this game don't give up with it, because this game has so much potential. There has not been a good futuristic racing game release in years. I don't even remember what the last one was. So this game keeps on going and getting developed the way it is down. This game is going to be huge. It is. I know it is. And I, I can't wait till it becomes public and people are playing online. You can race each other. You know, all kinds of cool stuff. And it will probably be, be on Steam if, if the developers wanted to. I, I'm sure this could be, this could get really popular on Steam because there are not very many futuristic races, like I said. And there are still some people that love those games, like Wipeout. I've never played those games, but I've heard good things about them, I would like to play them. But I, I don't know, <laughs> yeah. This game is a lot of fun, I recommend checking it out, but it's still currently in beta. Closed to beta at that, so it's invitational only. I was lucky enough to get one, I'm very thankful for that, for that. so if a one of those develop, develop, developer people are watching this, because this is in closed beta, thank you for that. I will doing, be doing more videos for this, maybe live commentaries of me racing on this. And maybe I can get someone else that has a closed beta passcode and we can play online together or something. So that's all for commentary. But there will be 
continuing gameplay in the background for uh, every spaceship racer thing. <laughs> so yeah, thank you all for watching as always. I hope you enjoyed this game and, and for my subscribers, if you want to see more of this game, please leave a like or post it in the comments. I will be um, happy to do more for you. I wanted to say a more smarty sounding word, but I couldn't really think of it. <laughs> So thank you all for watching, always. I have already said that. You know my derpiness. <laughs> and a goodbye.